Hey there, second grade. How's everybody doing today? And welcome back to another remote learning math lesson with Mr. Enzi. So let's get started. Today, we're going to be looking at some coins. So I'm going to ask you to see if you can find some coins in your house. I did some searching and I found some pennies. I found some dimes, and I also found some nickels. So if you have some pennies, dimes, and nickels at home, you will really be able to practice counting coins. Let's get started as I shrink myself into the corner. So today, we are going to be doing grade two, lesson 1.3, and it's called coins. And we're going to be learning about pennies, nickels, dimes. And after you watch this video, you are going to complete math journal page two. And you're either going to do it right in your journal or you're going to do it right in the seesaw activities. So let's do a little warm up that's going to help us to count coins. Our first warm-up is to count on by tens, starting at 20. Well, usually when we count by tens, we start at 10. But what if we started at 20? Let's see if we can count by tens together, starting at 20. Ready? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome job. What if I change that direction? Count on by tens starting at 40. Could we do that? Let's give it a try together. Count on by tens starting at 40. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome job. Do you know that a dime is worth 10 cents? So it helps if we're good at counting by tens. Let's take a look at another warm up. This time it says count on by fives starting at 10. Now, usually when we start counting by fives, we start at five. This time we're going to start at 10. Let's count by fives, starting at 10. Ready? 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Awesome job. I'm going to change that direction. Count on by fives starting at 30. So our first number we're going to say is 30. Here we go. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50. 65, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Awesome job. Do you know that our coin called the nickel that we're going to learn about today is worth five cents? So counting by fives helps us to count by nickels. Now, this, this warm-up is a little bit different. Some might call this a challenge. This time it says to count on by fives, starting at 40. And then when Mr. Enzi says to stop, we're going to have to count on by ones. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start counting on by fives, starting at 40. And then I'm going to put my hand on my head. And when I put my hand on my head, we're going to continue counting by ones. Let's go ahead and try this. Here we go. Counting by fives, starting at 40. 
40, 45, 50, 55, 60. <gasps> now we have to count by ones. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Awesome job. When we count by coins, sometimes we have to be able to count by tens, fives, and ones all in one problem. Let's go ahead and see what I mean. In first grade, we learned that the penny has two sides, the heads and the tails. Abraham Lincoln is pictured on the penny. The penny is worth one cent. We also learned in first grade that we have a coin called the dime. The dime is smaller than the penny and it's silver. It's our smallest coin. The dime is worth 10 cents. It also has a heads and a tails. Pictured on the dime is a former president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Now, we also learned in first grade that we can count up our pennies and our dimes. I wonder how much I have here in my first picture of coins. I have a penny, another penny, and another penny. I want to show you what mathematicians do. Mathematicians write underneath each coin how much it is worth. So I like to do this. I like to write a P for penny, and then I write underneath it one. That helps me to remember that a penny is worth one cent. And on my next coin, I write a P for penny and a one because it's worth one cent. And the same thing with my third coin, a P for penny and a one because it's worth one cent. Now, how much do I have all together? One plus one plus one or one, two, three cents. So we can count coins when we only have pennies. We can also count coins when we only have dimes. Now, for this one, a mathematician is going to write the letter D under a dime because D is how the word dime starts. Now, a dime is worth 10 cents, so under my D, I'm going to write 10. So far, I have a dime that's worth 10. My next coin is another dime, so I'm going to write D for dime and another 10 because a dime is worth 10 cents. My next coin is also a dime, so I'm going to write D and then I'm going to write 10 cents. And my last coin is also a dime. Now, how do I know they're dimes? Well, I know they're dimes because they're silver and it's pretty small. It's smaller than my penny, it's smaller than my nickel, and Franklin Delano Roosevelt is on the, the dime. Now, how much do I have all together? Now, some second graders will say four, but these aren't pennies. We have to count these by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40 cents. Awesome job. All right, let's take a look at another one. Now, this time, we've mixed dimes and pennies. Wow, we are really going to have to think about this. So let's see. Our first coin, oh, there's Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I'm going to put a D for dime. And then I'm going to write 10 because a dime is worth 10 cents. My next coin, oh, it's the copper penny. So I'm going to write a P. And then I'm going to write a 1. And also, I see Abraham Lincoln on it. 
So I know that's a penny. And then my last coin is another penny worth one cent. So now I have 10, 11, 12. 10 plus 1 is 11, plus 1 more is 12 cents. Wow, awesome job. Now, in second grade, we learn about a new coin. In first grade, we learn the penny and we learn the dime. In second grade, we are going to learn about the nickel. The nickel is worth five cents. It also has a heads and a tails. And the nickel is bigger than the penny, and it's bigger than the dime. And on the heads part of the nickel is Thomas Jefferson, another former president. When we count nickels, we have to be good at counting by fives. Let's try. Here's some coins. Ah, I know I see Thomas Jefferson, so I know this is a nickel. I'm going to write the letter N, and then I'm going to put a five below it. Here's another coin. Oh, it's the same size, so it has to be a nickel. And it's worth five cents. My next coin is also a nickel, and it's worth five cents. And the last coin is also a nickel, and it's worth five cents. So now, because I have all nickels, I can count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5 plus 5 is 10. 5 plus 5 is 10. And 10 plus 10 is 20. Wow! Now we can also combine some coins. Here I have two different coins. My first coin is a dime. It tells me it. You can read the word dime right on it. One dime. It's written really, really tiny. That's why I have my glasses on. So I'm going to write a D, and I'm going to write 10, because a dime is worth 10. And our next coin is a nickel, and it's worth 5. So now I have 10 plus 5. 10 in the rock plus 5 more. 11. 12, 13, 14, 15 cents. Awesome job. Here's another one. This time, we have all different coins, but it works the same way. My first coin is my small silver coin. It's a dime. I'm going to write D for dime. And then I'm going to write 10. My next coin is also a dime. It's that tiny silver coin. I'm going to write D for dime and then 10. And then I have my bigger silver coin. And I see Thomas Jefferson, so I know this is a nickel worth 5 cents. And then I can see that I have our copper coin, which is the penny. And the penny is worth one cent. Notice that it tells me it's worth one cent. It says it, one cent. So now I have to add up my coins, and I always start with my tens first. Ten plus ten is twenty. 20 plus 5 more, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, plus 1 more is 26, plus 1 more is 27 cents. Awesome job, my second grade mathematicians. You're going to have a chance to practice counting some coins right in your seesaw activities. Good luck. I can't wait to see how smart you are.